The female reproductive system consists of two ovaries, two tubes, the uterus and the vagina, located in the lower abdomen. The female reproductive system is under the meticulous control of two hormones, ASH and LH, which are released from the pituitary gland located at the base of the brain. In women, the ovaries contain many progenitor egg cells. In each menstrual cycle, that is, each month, a few of these precursor cells are selected and begin to mature, and at the end of the first week, only one begins to mature, including ovulation. After ovulation, this selected egg is taken into the tubes. The female reproductive system is under a very organized, controlled exchange of reproductive hormones that change day by day. Your egg, which has been selected for fertilization, will be laid by ovulation and will continue its journey by passing into the tubes. There he will begin to wait for the sperm that will fertilize him. Tubes located on both sides of the uterus in the abdominal cavity are 10-13 cm long and 1-2 in diameter. While one end of the tube opens into the abdominal cavity with a fringe structure on the ovary, the other end joins with the uterine cavity. Some of the many cells lining the inside of the tubes contain tiny hairs, which, before and after fertilization, carry the egg forward on this long journey into the uterine cavity. The contraction of the underlying muscle layer also contributes to this advancement. While the uterus undertakes the task of nesting, protecting and feeding the fetus until birth, it is the organ that provides pushing the baby out with its muscle tissue structure during birth. Its size varies a lot during pregnancy. Well, it is 6 to 8 centimeters long and weighs 70 grams in a non-pregnant woman who has never given birth. It has a capacity of reaching 1,100 grams with a volume of 5 LT. The parts of the uterus are called the fundus above the place where the two tubes are attached. The upper two-thirds is the body and the lower a third is the cervix. It consists of three layers from the inside to the outside. The innermost layer, the endometrium, is the part that sheds during menstruation and where the baby nests in case of pregnancy. During the menstrual cycle, it shows a significant change under the influence of hormones. Its thickness changes from 0.5 mm after menstruation to 5-6 mm before menstruation. In a female of reproductive age, this layer thickens each month, developing multiple ducts and blood vessels to house a possible baby. If there is no pregnancy, this thickened layer is shed at the end of the menstrual cycle. This is called menstrual bleeding. The inner layer of the uterus is an organ that disappears every month and is rebuilt and functions, and with this feature it is unique in the body. Menstrual bleeding in women, in fact, is the shedding of the uterine inner tissue, which is prepared for pregnancy every month and prepared for the nesting of the baby when there is no pregnancy. The middle layer, called the myometrium, which is 12 minus 15 thick, consists of smooth muscle cells and these muscles have a very strong contraction feature that allows to push the baby at birth. The outermost layer has no significant contribution during pregnancy. It forms the membrane function between the inside of the abdomen and the abdomen. The vagina is the tube-shaped structure in which the semen is emptied during sexual intercourse and forms the baby's passageway at birth. Don't forget to like the channel and subscribe!